Alright, so recently I needed to create this UI effect where when you hover over an element it shifts up and then all the other elements reduce opacity to draw attention to the element being targeted. So in this video we're going to take a look at how we can create this with only a few lines of CSS. Now when you take a look at something like this to recreate it, the first thing that you might opt to use is some JavaScript. And initially when I first looked at recreating this effect, that is what I thought too. However, with the power of CSS pseudo classes, we actually don't need any. Now to get started, what we have is just a simple Vue.js application. Now you can add this effect to essentially any framework, I'm just using Vue.js here for the demo. Now if you want to follow along with me here in this video, you can find the exact starting point for this demo in the GitHub repo that is down below in the description. Now within the app.view file, we have a component called card, which is just a simple component that accepts a prop to display the contents of each tile that we have inside of our demo. And in this component, we just have the prop defined, some simple markup, and then some initial styles. Then back in the app.view file, we're iterating over this array called tile prompts and creating a card component for each item in the array. And then again, we just have some simple styles to lay everything out. Now to create this effect, the first thing that we want to do is when we hover over a card, we want it to shift up. So within the card component, we can target the div with the class of card. And then we want to use the hover pseudo class to check for it being hovered. Then within the selector, we can define the property called transform. And then we can specify that we want to translate on the Y axis. And then within this, we can pass in the value of negative 10 to shift it up 10 pixels on the Y axis. And also to improve this effect, let's go ahead and add a transition on the card as well. Now when we hover over the cards, they shift up nicely. However, one thing that's happening is the top of our cards are getting cut off. The reason this happens is due to the overscroll property that we have set on the grid container. This allows the cards to scroll horizontally when the viewport shrinks, but because of this it also affects the Y axis. So once we remove that overscroll property and we test it again, you can see that it works as expected. Now to work around this, what we can do is just apply some padding on the top of the grid container to whatever we set the translate on the card, which was 10 pixels. And now that we have that set, you'll see we have a nice hover effect while still keeping the scrolling effect on smaller viewports. Now the final piece of this effect is to reduce the opacity on every tile that is not currently being hovered over. Now although this may seem complicated, it's actually very easy to achieve with just a single line of CSS. So within our app.view file, we'll want to target the div with the class of card grid, which is our grid container. Then on this selector, what we want to do is use the has pseudo class, and we want to check for any card that is being hovered. Now for the second part of the selector, we want to use what is called the not pseudo class. And then what we want to do within here is you want to check for all the cards that are currently not being hovered. And what this selector is saying is when any card is hovered inside of our card grid, we want to apply styles to all the other cards that are not being hovered. And the style that we want to apply to all the other cards is going to be the opacity, and we're going to set this to 0.5. And now with just that single line of CSS, when we hover over a tile, you'll see we have their shifting up effect. And now in addition to that, all the other cards are going to have reduced opacity. Now to take this a step further, if you want to make this effect a little bit more accessible, what we can do is add this effect whenever we focus into the element. Now by default, a div is not a focusable element. However, we can make it one by adding what is called the tab index property on the card itself and setting this value to zero. And now that our div is a focusable element, we just want to create the same effect, only this time checking for a focus instead of a hover. So within the card component, we can clone down the selector and update it to check for a focus instead of a hover. And then we can do the same thing for the opacity effect that we have within our app.view file. And now using the tab button within our application, you can see we're going to have that same effect. Alright, so that's going to wrap it up here for this video. Hopefully you enjoyed it and you learned something new. If you did, be sure to leave a like on it down below and subscribe for more content like this. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Take care.